Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss a trigonometric equation. The question says, find the value of A given that the tangent of 60 degrees plus 5 sine of 4 over 5A minus 5 cosine of 13 over 15A equals to the square root of 3. The first thing that I will do is to show you that uh, the term of 60 is equivalent to the square root of 3 because uh, trigonometric ratios can simply be expressed in third form. Then after that, I will quickly lead you to the solution of that equation. When we take an equilateral triangle of two units, two units, two units, then we will be having 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. Now we can drop a perpendicular here, whereby this takes a value of 1, and this one takes a value of 1, so that the perpendicular height now becomes, using Pythagoras theorem, 2 squared minus 1 squared. This becomes the square root of 3. If that is the square root of 3, then it means uh, expressing the tangent of 60 which should be given by the opposite side over the adjacent to be the square root of 3 divided by 1. And this is the root of 3 because the adjacent length is just 1. So square root of 3 is the equivalence of tan 60 degrees. So if I rewrite the equation above now, it will be tan of 60 degrees plus 5 sine of 4 over 5, the value of A, minus 5, the cosine of 13 out of 15 A, and this is equivalent to the root of 3. What I'm saying is that tan 60 is equivalent to the square root of 3, and that cancels out. Now we remain with 5, the sine of 4 over 5 A, minus 5 the cosine of 13 out of 15a this is equivalent to zero at this point we can easily conclude that 5 the sine of 4 over 5a equals to 5 the cosine of 13 out of 15a and at this point we can see 5 is appearing on both sides so it can simplify out uh, the sine of 4 over 5 value of a equals to the cosine of 13 out of 15 the value of a it's good for us to remember that there is a law which says that uh, the cosine and sine of a given angle added to okay not added but equivalent to cosine of another acute angle, this implies that when we take the two acute angles, they should give us 90 degrees. So for two complementary angles, the sine of one is usually equivalent to the cosine of the other. And now that we have an expression implying that, then it simply means that from this statement, it implies that when we take 4 out of 5a and we add 13 out of 15a then we shall get exactly 90 degrees and through this we can add and have 1 and 2 thirds a being equivalent to 90 then when we divide through by 1 and 2 thirds we'll get the value of a as equal to 54. So the value of A can easily be solved as 54 according to the equation. Thank you so much for following. Subscribe and share.